So it's with great honor and humility, I accept this nomination for President of the United States of America. Joe Biden accepted the Democratic presidential nomination from Wilmington, Delaware, capping off the first ever mostly virtual convention in U.S. history. Like Kamala Harris did Wednesday night, Biden spoke in an empty room to a small audience of reporters. He circled back to the themes that Democratic speakers have been driving home all week, that this election boils down to an existential moment for the United States. This is a life-changing election. This will determine what America is going to look like for a long, long time. Character is on the ballot. Compassion is on the ballot. Decency, science, democracy, they're all on the ballot. But for all the things Biden and other Democrats have criticized President Trump for over the years, Biden mostly stuck to one big critique, that Trump has let the coronavirus pandemic run rampant in the United States with no end in sight. Our current president has failed in his most basic duty to the nation. He's failed to protect us. He's failed to protect America. And my fellow Americans, that is unforgivable. And as he often does in big speeches, Biden spoke about the pain he's faced in his own life, the deaths of two children and his first wife. Biden talked about that, then spoke to families who have lost someone to COVID-19. I have some idea how it feels to lose someone you love. I know that deep black hole that opens up in the middle of your chest and you feel like you're being sucked into it. I know how mean and cruel and unfair life can be sometimes. After the speech, Biden, Harris, and their spouses went outside to watch fireworks along with supporters. Scott Tetro, NPR News, Wilmington.